2025, 333 million people worldwide will have diabetes. Asia is at the epicenter of this epidemic, and India has more diabetics than any other country. The prevalence of diabetes is increasing rapidly on every continent. India is home to over 20 million diabetics. India's rapid urbanization has led to lifestyle changes, such as excessive consumption of calorie-dense foods, and a decline in physical activity. Along with increased genetic susceptibility of the South Asian population, these factors have contributed to the emergence of the twin epidemics of diabetes and obesity. So what's the solution? Make the middle income group people poorer, uh, you know, take away all their money, then they, they don't have anything to eat, and then you make them poor, and then you get rid of diabetes. Is that your solution? Type 2 diabetes is a disease of affluence. The prevalence of type 2 diabetes increases significantly from rural villages, where many people still eat traditional foods and engage in moderate physical activity as a part of everyday life, to urban cities like Chennai, buzzing with over 2 million auto rickshaws, cars, and motorbikes, to cosmopolitan megacities like Mumbai, a city of almost 14 million people, where the prevalence of type 2 diabetes has been documented to be five times greater than in surrounding rural villages. About uh, 15 or 20 years ago, uh, the primary cause of death in India was uh, due to communicable diseases. So we had malaria, and cholera, and typhoid, and so on. How does uh, obesity or diabetes affect the health uh, of India? It's a question often asked uh, to me. Because, in fact, they turn it around and say, is, is it really a problem when you're still grappling with uh, tuberculosis and other infections which you really haven't controlled? While undernutrition remains a devastating problem in rural areas and among the urban poor, India is simultaneously facing an increasing rate of overnutrition and non-communicable diseases, or NCDs, such as diabetes, among the middle and upper socioeconomic classes. You have half of the population who are not eating, or who don't have enough money to eat, and you have other half of the population who have the money but are eating all the wrong kind of foods. And that is why obesity is such a big, I think it's more grave than until uh, a few years ago it was only the communicable diseases. And if it's diabetes, if it's cancer, if it's hypertension, it's any kind of uh, bronchial diseases, asthma, and things. Everywhere obesity has a role. It is really increases beyond a certain level, uh, then we would have a sick nation. India's urban population is expected to grow by approximately one million people every decade as people leave their ancestral villages to capitalize on the economic boom in urban India. Following this trend, by 2025, 70 Indian cities are expected to have over one million inhabitants. And the industry is very strong. So industry is doing exactly the opposite of what we are, we are preaching. And as you know, the industry has a kind of uh, much deeper pockets and much more money than we can ever muster. Where the superstars are almost like uh, considered as close to God as possible. I mean, you have temples built in their names and things like that. That's very common in Chennai. Yum Yas Dhoni from Chennai. Mind it. All you fast bowler rascals. I have the bat. Do you have the ball? Mind it. So when you have such influential people advertising for all the wrong things, you can imagine the effect it's going to have. Uh, globalization, industrialization, westernization is taking a wrong track. This is not the way it should be. Ten years ago, fifteen years ago, the disparity between the rich and the poor was much bigger. Now it's only one fraction smaller. The growing population of India largely belongs to the middle class. And uh, a few years from now, you could say India very significantly had a lower, lower class, a middle class, and an upper class. The first thing that a person wants to do 
uh, when he gets money is to uh, you know uh, buy himself uh, a motorbike simple automated machines at home car substituting your daily train and a bus drive with a car he doesn't even drive he gets a chauffeur then you might have a driver now with each of these your physical activity as you can imagine is going down comes to such a point that even just to go to a shop which is just below your house you need a two wheeler because you just stop walking all together so whatever you are eating you must burn it you burn the calories rapidly growing young population software engineers and so on who are really the most successful people uh, in india and uh, it would be a pity if uh, you know at the age of 18 20 25 uh, these people develop diabetes because if they they don't look after themselves at that time by the time they are 40 or 50 Uh, there could be loads and loads of people with eye disease due to diabetes and kidney complications, renal failure, heart attacks, bypasses, and uh, surgery, and so on. Which would mean that at the productive time of their life, when they're forty-five, fifty years old, when they should be peaking and really reaching the heights of their career, they would be grappling with heart attacks and diabetes and amputations and kidney failure and loss of vision and so on, which can seriously affect the nation. Despite the rapid increase in disease prevalence, India does not have a government-subsidized, coordinated diabetes care program. Uh, the government of India is planning to have a national control program for diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and stroke. They have announced it. We have not seen too much of it happening. India has the technical and institutional capacity to combat the epidemics of diabetes and obesity by focusing on primary prevention. Future is prevention is better than cure. So. We are lucky that we're working in the field of preventive medicine right now, in the field of translational research, which I think is the key. We have lots of epidemiological state data, we have lots of nutrition research data. We all know that obesity is escalating, diabetes is escalating, as with regards to all other kind of diseases, and we also know lifestyle is one of the main causes. In addition to the physical burden of diabetes on the individual, it also strains India's healthcare system, therefore affecting both national economies and the economy of the individual and their family. It is imperative to develop effective interventions to combat the epidemics of type 2 diabetes and obesity. It's not just one pill for obesity, one surgery for obesity, or just uh, you know do one little thing, one magic bullet and then you can solve the problem. It's rather complicated. implementation of government policies to promote healthy food production and consumption regulation of the aggressive advertising of unhealthy foods urban planning to promote physical activity one of the uh, colonies in chennai where the, there was diabetes and obesity we encouraged them and they actually built a park using their own uh, funds and today the physical activity in that uh, in that park and the surrounding areas has increased so dramatically that we're beginning to see a slowing down of the diabetes in the, in that particular area as compared to a control area where no intervention is done where the diabetes is just shot up so we believe that we actually taken prevention to the community and uh, help the community to empower them so that the onus is on them education that increases awareness of unhealthy foods and behaviors and empowers communities to adopt healthy lifestyles attention to the effects of rural to urban migration on health and city infrastructure migration from city side to the cities and cities are expanding fast and infrastructure is the same strengthening of government hospital infrastructure to advance early detection of people at high risk for obesity and diabetes as well as to increase access to healthcare and treatment for known diabetics an example of that from the public health angle is hiv itself Uh, five years or ten years ago, there were fears that the HIV epidemic uh, in India would uh, become like uh, Africa. According to the Union Health Minister, it's now 50 percent of what it was, say, five years ago. So, if similar things are done about diabetes and obesity, uh, very soon uh, healthier lifestyles would start, and the epidemic of diabetes and obesity would be controlled. If not, uh, this could lead to catastrophic results. <laughs> Oh, I'm happy, and I'm happy.
ಹೌವಾ ಹೌವಾ 